Hello guys! Welcome sa ating Zinanage TV. Sa AutoCAD video series na ito, I will introduce you the CAD software. Ang tutorial na ito ay para sa mga complete beginner in AutoCAD who has absolutely no knowledge to this software. So, dito sa AutoCAD video series, mag start tayo sa basics. Pag-aaralan natin ng AutoCAD user interface, understanding the units, making basic drawings, we'll use object snaps to make precise drawings, working with layers and blocks working with dimensions and last will print our drawing so lahat ng ito ay pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating tutorial pero before tayo mag start don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button para manotify kayo sa mga next videos so let's get started Okay. So, in our first video, napag-aralan natin ang user interface at ilang parts ng AutoCAD software natin. Pero, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood o gusto nyo ulit balikan yung first video natin about introduction to AutoCAD, pwede nyo i-click ang link sa comment box ng video na ito. Okay? So, let's start sa next topic natin na setting the units. So, one of the value facts about AutoCAD ay yung it does not deal with a certain length unit while drafting. So, take note of the following points. AutoCAD deals with AutoCAD units. So, masabi natin na unitless siya. Okay? So, next, an AutoCAD unit can be anything you want since unitless ito pero it can be set to meter, centimeter, millimeter, inches or inch or foot okay so next all of these options are correct as long as you remember your chosen option and stay consistent in both x and y so itong x and y ay tinatawag nating points or coordinates so bago tayo mag start ng drawing ang una nating dapat gawin ay mag set ng proper units so, paano ba tayo mag-set ng units? Okay, so by setting the units, this command will allow you to select the proper length and angle units. So, from the application menu, okay, so select natin yung drawing utilities. Then, under your drawing utilities, so click natin tong units. Okay, so then after you make your selection, the following dialog box will appear. So, under length, okay, we can set the desired type natin. So, meron tayong lima. Architectural, decimal, engineering, fractional, and scientific. Okay? So, kapag sinet natin yung bawat isang yan, so, pwede natin ma-set din yung pinaka-precision niya. So, example, uh, under architectural, so, kung titignan natin itong precision, ito yung mga example. So, pwedeng 0 foot and 0 inch. 0 foot and 1 half inch. So, 0 foot and 1 fourth inch. 0 foot and 1 eighth inch. And so on and so forth. So, kung papansin nyo, na yung sa architectural natin, yung sa foot natin ay naka whole number. So, kay inches naman is naka fractional form okay so under architectural din na kapag set natin yung uh, autocad natin as 1 so meaning yung value nun ay masaset as 1 inch kung 2 2 inches kung 3 3 inches and so on and so forth so kapag set natin yung bad sa autocad natin na 12 so magiging yan as 1 foot. Kasi alam natin na ang conversion ng 12 inches ay 1 foot. Okay? So, next. Uh, kung kay decimal naman, so, may kita na sa precision niya na kung ilan yung magiging decimal places. Okay? 
So, pwede nyo iset yan kung ilan yung gusto nyo, yung desired nyo decimal places. So, kung kay engineering naman, ito guys is pinagsamang uh, decimal saka architectural. Bakit ko nasabi yon? Kasi, kung mapapansin nyo sa precision nya, is yung may decimal point siya at may decimal places. At yung sa inches part nya, imbis na fractional form, ay naka uh, decimal. Okay? So, next. Uh, kay fractional, so dito guys, is fractional form yung mga values. Kay scientific naman, so yung precision nya guys, is naka notation. So, meaning, uh, pwede natin iset as times 10 raised to 4, times 10 raised to 5. Okay? So, next, under angle naman, so, same lang din, may lima rin tayo na pag -ipilian. So, decimal degrees, degree minute seconds, gradients, radians, and surveyors units. So, bawat isa, is pwede rin natin iset yung precision niya. Example, decimal degrees. So, kung titignan natin yung precision, almost similar lang siya sa decimal dun sa length natin. So, kung ilang decimal places ang kakailangan mo o desired mo, so, pwede yan. Mamili ka nang dyan. So, kay degree minute seconds, so, mapapansin natin na sa precision, may katabi siyang unit na D uh, na nagsisignify as degree. So, kung babasahin natin itong pangalawa, 0 degree, 0 minute. So, pangatlo, 0 degree, 0 minute, and 0 second and so on and so forth so ganun siya so tabi tabi si magkakatabi yung degree minute and second so next kay gradients so halos same lang din nung kay degree minute seconds pero uh, katabi lang niya is panay g lang okay wala na siyang minutes and seconds okay so lahat lang ng unit niya ay magiging g lang okay next uh, kay gradients so same lang ni gradients so, R naman siya, yung maging unit. Okay, so next, kay surveyor's unit naman, so, papansin natin na naka north east siya, meaning directional kasi to. Okay, so, kung babasahin natin doon una, so, 0 degree north of east. So, pangalawa, 0 degree, 0 minute north of east. So, yung pangatlo, 0 degree, 0 minute, 0 seconds north of east east and so on and so forth so nagkakaroon lang tayo ng additional decimal places kay uh, seconds okay so dito naman uh, itong sa clockwise natin guys is bakit naka uncheck sa akin ay dahil uh, by default AutoCAD deals with the positive angles counter clockwise kasi alam natin na sa trigonometry lahat ng values mo pa counter clockwise is positive yun. Okay? Positive angle ang meron ka doon. So, kung pa-clockwise ang direction mo, so, mga negative angles ang equivalent nun. Okay? Pero, kung gusto mong balikta rin, okay, imbis na pa-counter clockwise yung mga positive angles mo, so, gagawin mo siyang pa-clockwise yung mga positive angles mo, pwede. So, i-check mo siya. Okay? So, under insertion scale naman, Pwede natin may specify yung units to scale inserted uh, content. Okay, so this will be your drawing scale ag against the scale of any object. So example doon ay yung block. So kapag magda-drawing ka, pwede natin iset as inches. Pwede mo siyang iset as feet. So miles, millimeters, centimeters, etc. Okay, so kayo nang mamili dyan kung anong uh, unit of measure ang pwede nyo iset para kay scaling okay so next click natin tong direction so lalabas itong uh, dialog box na ito so makikita natin yung base angle is naka east so pwede nyo baguhin din yan guys ng north, west, south at other so ano ba ibig sabihin itong base angle so ibig sabihin lang ito guys is kung saan nakaset yung zero angle mo okay so Alam natin din na kung babalikan din natin ang trigonometry, so sa quadrant, meron tayong x, y axis, okay? Na yung zero angle mo is na kay 
positive x axis so nasan ba si positive x axis na kay east direction okay so kung gusto mong ilagay yung positive zero angle mo kay 90 degrees or yung tinatawag natin na north okay so sa north direction naman yun kung gusto mo naman ilagay kay 270 degrees yung zero angle mo so iset mo siya kay south kung ilag gusto mo naman iset kay 180 degrees so iset mo siya kay west okay so that will be the setting of base angle okay so another thing to set the units ay by typing un so kung ayaw mong kung ayaw mo mag-set dito kay application menu so tinatamad ka kunwari so pwede mo siyang i-type di directly dito as un so lalabas na un or units so pag click mo yan lalabas yung kanina natin yung drawing units na dialog box natin okay so that's the end of this video at para sa ilang video span guys na gusto nyo maunawaan o malaman about sa AutoCAD so huwag kalimutan guys na mag subscribe okay? so click nyo lang yung bell at para mag updated kayo sa ating mga next videos so maraming salamat